I'm going to throw this in there. This is called airbrush and product maintenance. So it's going to happen. I've done it. You do it. I'm going to do it again. You're going to do it again. But it's not nothing to worry about. You're going to be working. You're going to leave your um, Hyperdope color enhancement in your air gun overnight. And you're going to come back and it's going to have this green tint to it. What that is, is you've let it sit overnight and it has oxidized. All you have to do is uh, add some alcohol to your gun, purge it, put your finger over the nozzle, halfway pull back on the trigger will purge everything out of the line. You want to dump it. And then what I like to do is I do a double purge process. I just do it twice. You can also use a hair dye color remover which will also remove anything out of the gun, but you can just do it with alcohol. It's a quick, easy, inexpensive way to do it. You do it that way, and what will happen is you'll see it start to remove any residual product that's left within the gun. You can do this with any enhancement, but especially when you're using a water-resistant color enhancement because it is made with natural products and it has additives to it that's going to make it, that's going to give it that water-resistant reaction. If you leave it overnight, it will oxidize. That's part of, you know, science or whatever, right? So this is me doing a double process purge. I'm going to just purge it, dump it, clean out my gun with a towel, and I'm good to go. It takes literally 10, 15 seconds to do this. Um, I'm just extending this video so that you have a good, good view of what, what it looks like. That way, when you see it, you won't be concerned. Oh, my God, my product turned green. No, it didn't. Your product oxidized. What it did is it separated. Oxygen got to it, and it, it just separated, and, and you're getting to see the things that's in it. But no worries. Clean it all out. Put your product in. One way to avoid this, too, is when you're using enhancements, especially water-resistant color enhancements, only put in what you're going to use for your client. That way... It'll be like a mental checklist. I'm going to use this amount on my client, and then my gun is 90% of the time is going to be empty, so I don't have to worry about wasting product. That's one of the biggest things that barbers do. We waste a lot of products when we don't have to. Once you purge your gun, put your product that you're going to use for your client, spread out, boom, you back to work. You ready to get busy putting down polished lines that's going to be water resistant.